Hey everybody. Um, if you watched the last video, what was it? I don't remember what it was. <laughs> but I was wearing this shirt. I'm doing this on the same day. In fact, this is a few hours later. Um, I just had something on my mind and I kind of wanted to put it out there. Um, it's about 2 o'clock in the morning and uh, so if you watched my rant video, of course, you, you've seen this shirt. I have not went to bed yet. Um, I had my first real confrontation about my cruelty-free stance tonight. Um, of course, I'm not going to use any names or anything. This is more for me to kind of get it out there. Maybe you guys can share with me your experiences with people who don't agree with you. But um, I was speaking, um, I was on Facebook and I was uh, talking to someone and we got on the conversation of the body shop. And because we had been talking about skincare because I was, uh, we were talking about different kinds of skincare and someone had recommended the simple products and I said, well, I'm sorry, I don't. I don't use simple because uh, they're not cruelty free. Um, I, you know, and I just made a blunt statement. I just said um, I don't buy things that are cruelty are not cruelty free, and I um, am also looking for something that does not have sulfates. Excuse me, that's shampoo, um, parabens, or phenoxyethanol. And so. She came up and she, this other person came up and said, oh, the body shop. And I said, well, unfortunately, the body shop is owned by L'Oreal. And L'Oreal is not a cruelty-free company. So I, uh, I don't purchase from anyone that is affiliated with or owned by L'Oreal. And it was all fine. Well, this other person popped up and said, let me get this straight. You don't buy from the body shop they're not cruelty free because they're owned by L'Oreal but how is that possible the body shop does not animal test and then someone else chimed in and said um, just because someone is owned by someone who animal tests you know that uh, doesn't mean anything they retain their own brand and they retain their own identity and just because they're owned by somebody that does doesn't mean that they do or I mean it was uh, it was just confusing and I I said well in my definition of cruelty free the way I look at it and I, and I never said anything rude I never said you're wrong this is how it is I just said when someone is owned by a company they have to pay that parent company something so the any money that I would spend towards that company, you know, whether it be the body shop or Urban Decay or Bear Essentials or any of that stuff, um, because they're owned by a parent company that tests, whether they third party, whether they're in China, whether they test themselves on you know on with their own labs, whatever, they're paying somebody to perform those tests, whether it's in house or out of house, and. Part of my money would be going to pay those people to torture those animals, and I can't do it, you know. And I was just basically stating, this is why I do what I do. I was never, uh, you know, I wasn't saying there's anything wrong with anybody else, and I don't think that. I don't look down on anybody. I don't judge anybody. You know, it's all personal. If if you don't if you don't want to look into it, it's complicated. It's hard to keep up with, and I understand that. But I felt like she was trying to prove me wrong. She copied and pasted what looked like something directly from the L'Oreal website. And it was saying that L'Oreal and all these companies, I'm assuming within the L'Oreal universe, um, haven't tested on animals in since 1989 and whatever but it doesn't address China it doesn't address third party testing because you know how it is they write on their website what looks good and so L'Oreal themselves may not be performing those tests but somebody is and uh, and they sell in China 
as far as I'm aware, I'm, I'm right on that, right? I'm really tired right now, so I don't have a lot of brains in my head. <laughs> but, um, but it was like she felt like she had to win. It was like she had to prove me wrong. And I was never trying to prove her wrong. I just said, I don't buy this because of this. But thank you for your suggestion, you know. And it's just bothered me. Why can't people just accept you for who you are? When I first were, went vegetarian, my very best friend, four years. It took her, like, I don't know, five years to accept the fact that I didn't eat meat. I mean, we would go places, and she would buy all the stuff for a cookout or whatever, or um, she would come into town, like when, you know, like when she moved, and she would buy sandwich meat, you know, we'd all get to the hotel, and I would end up eating potato chips because she didn't buy me anything. And a couple of years ago, she came in, and she finally accepted me. She came in. We, I went to the grocery store with her to pick up stuff. She says, what kind of cheese do you want? Well, we'll have cheese sandwiches for you. And I, I appreciated that because that was a big, big, big step. And then when I went to visit her um, last year, um, she took me to the store and they had like a Hy-Vee or a Whole Foods or something, I can't remember. Anyway, but they took me to, she took me to the grocery store because she knew I ate differently and I was going to be there for a week. And uh, I was going to buy, she wouldn't let me. She was like, no, you're my guest and you're going to eat and whatever. And so she took me to the store and bought me almond milk and, you know, all this, you know, special food for just me. So she finally accepted that I was vegetarian. But it took her like six, seven years, five, it took her a long, long time. Why can't people just accept you for who you are? I accept people for who they are, you know? I don't care what you do. I, I like to get to know you and figure out who you are, and I accept you for who you are, whatever that is. Why can't I get the same respect just because I'm not the norm? I mean, I'm not saying all my friends are like this, and, and, and my friends that are watching this who, who you know, have known me before YouTube and, and know me a little better, you know I am who I am. And you guys have been really great and really accepting. And when I decided to go cruelty-free, I had several friends who were very supportive. They're like, it's your money. You do what you do with it. I'm cool with it. And I just don't understand why people can't accept you for who you are. I, I, I'm very open-minded. I always say you are who you are, and as long you know, I just want you to be you. But yeah, that that's that's my little I don't know late night. I don't know. I don't know what to call it. Late night. It's not a confession. It's a late night pleading. Why can't people just accept you who you are? You know. And, and like I said, everybody's not like that, but I just love when you tell somebody something and they can't say, oh, okay, and just drop it. They have to prove you wrong and tell you why you're wrong and why, you know, you should buy this because it's awesome, or you should buy this because of this, and when you tell them, I don't eat meat, or um, I, I understand that that's like the best hamburger you've ever had, but I, I don't eat that, um... They can't just accept it and, and go on with it. They, they, they keep it going and going and going. But anyway, so that's my little story, and I just wanted to share that with you. Um, do you guys have any experience and stuff like this? Because it kind of bothered me. It really did. Um, I, I never expected that people would try to prove me wrong and being cruelty-free, and that's how I felt. So you guys have a great one, and I'll see you next time.